We are going to eat tonight. We love nostalgia, and you'll notice these little knickknacks around the room and even this camper. So, I'm going to create this dish for you. This is your Forger's Tea Sauce. Alright, Phil, In the middle, we have our kuwas. These are flavor jewel and flavor grenade kuwas in an average way. It's going to be a little red serrano as well as a little uh, red jalapeno and uh, tomato water the, with a little bit of shiso that you just me. Um, next to that, we have our blackberry soda. It's been infused with lemon verbena and salsa verbena flour. And last but not least, of course, our black cheese cake. It has been grilled and topped with a little bit of fake jam. And also an oil that's been made from these hard leaves of figs, which really interestingly tastes so much like coconut, but I swear it's only fig on that plate. You'll enjoy. Cheers. Thank you. Enjoy. 
Mm. Thank you. So what we have here is a little Chesapeake Bay blue crab that molted its hard shell. That's what happens in their lifespan. Every summertime, they'll molt their hard shell and regrow it. So we got it, right? We got it right in that little sweet spot. We don't have a shell. And we fried them in tempura and beer batter, a little combination of those two ideas, and a dusting of new bay seasoning, which is uh, kind of an idea where we got uh, the Old Bay seasoning, familiar, has gumbo, file, and paprika, and bay leaves. The only difference is our new bay seasoning, we use California bay leaves. Just as the one you had in your teeth on earlier in the meal. There's also the California bay leaf oil that we drizzled on top of the zucchini puree. And then off to the side is a squash bottom stuffed with shrimp gumbo. Yes. And so we made this shrimp gumbo using Carolina gold rice and golf prawns. And then we took their heads and made a clarified shrimp head butter and infused that into the squash puree on the plate. Yeah, so every time I say shrimp head butter, it makes me happy. So I will leave you to enjoy my friends. Homage to a movie called Ice Age. It's a shaved ice dish with white horn paired with And this is for by our friend Jim, our friend Roscoe Zuckerman. The same person who made the melon, right, that you had earlier, same farmer. Both sitting on top of ambrosia shaved ice. And for you, there's a little whipped creme fraiche on the plate. Now, let's get down to business. This is our syrup. You can't have a shaved ice, though, with seasoning syrup. That is a candu and coyote mint syrup. We use candu melons that have been steeped in rice wine vinegar and simple syrup and coyote mint, which is a locally foraged version of mint. And there are coyote mint blossoms on top of your ice cream. So, this is the last, that's why it's called the last melon. And we're using that quote from the movie Icy. So I'll leave you to enjoy it. Thank you. This is what Lazy Bear gave it to me for the breakfast. Yeah, very nice. And they are all dairy free. <laughs> 